Today I'm going to show you how to create email templates inside of MailerLite. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless, uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'm Here you can see I am on my dashboard right now and if we look on the left side, you're going to see that they're all the way at the bottom. There is this little link here called my templates. Now, what I love about this is that they've made it really easy to get there, which is unlike other platforms that like get response, for example, where you have to go into the email marketing and then to my templates. So you can see, I've got a couple here already. Now I am going to create just a basic template for you. And then I'm going to show you how to duplicate it in case you want to do like I did and have a couple different variations. So first thing we're going to do is go into new template. And when you get in here, the first thing you want to do is we're just going to, we're going to name this one simple and you want to put it what you want it to be, right? So obviously we're doing an email template and then we go ahead and hit save and continue. Now the next place we're going to get here is a thing called the create a template section. Now it's going to give you some options in different types of templates that they have available. If you wanted to start off from a different location, I love that some of these look really, really nice. So here's one that's just a letter. Here's a reconfirmation. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the drag and drop editor, just so that way you can see what it looks like from a basic standpoint. And what you're going to notice here is that I just have a, a standard template that they gave me. I don't have anything specific that I've set up already. So I don't have like my logo preloaded or anything like that. And so this is just what you're going to see when you try to create a template. Now, most of the time you're not going to have anything fancy like this. If you do, that's awesome. Feel free to use it, but I'm just going to go ahead and take most of this stuff out. Okay, so now what you see here is I've just got my basic footer here, which is just a, a very simple footer, and then I have the logo up here. Now, if you do have a logo, I do recommend having it at the top of your email. That's just because that's your branding. That's what people are gonna recognize you by. So we're just gonna throw mine up there. So you click on the actual box here, and then it brings up your stuff on the right, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on the logo itself to change it. It's going to bring up the file manager. You can see I've got a bunch of different things in here already. Here's my logo. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Now you're going to see it's really small at first. So you just size it. There's this little kind of lines here at the, at the bottom. So you can pull this down at an angle and size it. And I did notice if you look at the size of the box, there's these gaps here like this, right? So if you go over on the right side and you click on settings, there's the padding right now it's set to 40 and 30. I like bringing this down to about 10 and 10. So you can see now it's a nice clean section for the logo and it's already aligned in the center. And as far as the content goes, I do recommend putting an alt in here just in case. So we're gonna say Josh Schoenert logo. And we're gonna save that. Now you have to make sure you save it so you can get back to the drag and drop pieces over here. Now you can either scroll through these down here or you can click the little drop down at the top and say, you know what? I just want content blocks. And now it's gonna show you just the content blocks. You're gonna get text, subtitles, titles, links, images, videos, things like that. So we're just gonna drag over this text like this. And then in here, we're just gonna, now this is a template, right? So if you have specific text you can use, that's fine. I have a little trick that I use is I just put insert text here and then I align most of my stuff to the left. So now I know that all I have to do is click on this box the next time that I actually come in here and that's going to give me the opportunity to get to my text box on the right side. Now this is a, a very key thing to know right away is that you cannot update the information in line inside of MailerLite. You have to go over to the right side and do your box over here, and then that will update it on the main email. So a little bit different from other builders, but I kind of like that because then you're not editing stuff in line. You can edit over on the side and see what it looks like in the email in real time. So we're gonna save that just like that. Now, we're just gonna leave this simple like this. I'm not gonna change a whole bunch of different things. This isn't like a email builder course. It's just to show you how to make templates. So I'm gonna call this done as a simple template, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and save it. 
And so what you're going to notice right away is we've got now three templates in here. Okay. So let's say you wanted to add a signature to one just in case you wanted to be a little bit more formal, formal, but you still want a simple email that you can use as a template if you're just sending out something quick or if you don't want to care about a signature. So instead of creating an entirely new template, what we can do is just click the three dots and then hit duplicate. And what we're going to have is copy of the simple template. So the first thing I'm going to do is rename it and I'm just going to say simple with signature. We're going to save it. And then you notice I do have my signature and stuff over here, but I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to show you how to add another couple blocks. So we're just going to open this up. Now, remember we talked about changing the blocks here. So we're just going to change this to content blocks. So we get our text. Now I'm just going to grab another text box here, bring it over, and then we're going to take all this. And whenever you're changing the alignment, make sure you select everything. I just used control A or command A if you're on a Mac. And then I'm just going to put my name in here. So we're going to say Josh Schonertz, and then I'm going to highlight all this. I'm going to make this size a little bit bigger, bold it up and text color. We're going to go with my dark blue here that I love. And then now you could add other text below this if you wanted to. So for example, once you go down, the nice thing about the text box is you don't, it doesn't have to all be the same size text. So if I turn around and I say, I want to go 16 point font now, and let's go husband, father, best selling author. Okay. And that's bolded right now. I don't want it bolded. So we're going to take that bolding off. So now with this, then we can save this. And now we have a nice little signature down there that we have updated on this simple template. So we're going to save the template and now we've got four templates. And when the previews come up now, let's say you decide that you don't want that, that old template. Cause you're like, you know, a signature is really good to have. This one's really just too simple. All you got to do is click on those three dots again, go hit delete, say yes. And now that one's gone. And then let's say you just decide, you know what? You don't need to say with signature because you're just going to leave it that way. So we can rename it, take out the signature. And now you're back down to just having a simple one, but now it has a signature. So pretty simple is that just click on templates on the left, click on new template, put it together. And there you go. So I hope you got value from this. If you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can get notified when I put out more content. I'm going to be putting out a bunch of content on my other light because I'm testing this tool out. I'm going to put out a bunch of how to's and hopefully we can help people understand if MailerLite really is an effective marketing tool.